So welcome back to another episode, and this is a little bit of fun for me to do. This is my Turbo Graphics with my CD-ROM attachment to it. Here's my Genesis with the Sega CD attachment on it. Which one was better back in the day? Which one was better? You know what? They were both good, and they both had a variety of different games. But what I wanted to talk about was the arguments that were going on in high schools. And nobody ever talks about this. Everybody always talks about the Super Nintendo versus the Genesis. But there was a whole other argument going on, you know, driving some people crazy. And I'm going to talk about some of the stuff that I was dealing with back then. Now, I was lucky enough, as you guys know, to get the TurboGrafx CD-ROM with Ease, Books 1 and 2 for Christmas. Blew my mind. I had every kid over in the neighborhood, not to brag, but just to show them this religious experience. I was like this cult member saying, come on over, come on over, you gotta see Final Zone 2 and Fighting Streets and all these amazing games on this machine and I was loving it and it was a really big deal to have a CD-ROM and cinematics and music the way it was in the TurboGrafx. I, we'd never gotten anything like that at home before, so it was a really big deal. So. Every kid was coming over and people's minds were changing. I was like a, a salesman for TurboGrafx, but I wasn't getting paid. But I was really, like people coming over and they were seeing the light with it. They were like going, wow, this is a lot of fun. This is really, this looks cool. And that was awesome. But looming ahead was, you know, the Sega Genesis CD-ROM, the Sega CD, which was exciting. And I was looking at pictures of it. I was really excited. It, it looked really like a lot of fun. and. I was the kind of guy that I, you know, still to this day, I just want to play cool games on any system as long as I, you know, they're, they're good games. That's all I really care about. And the Sega CD looked like it had a lot of great games coming out. Now, my friend Andrew and I had this friend. He was more Andrew's friend than he was mine. And I don't even know if he was really much of Andrew's friend. Uh, he was a really, oh my God, what can I say? Now, hear me out. He was, he was a, a nerdy asshole. And that's worse than anything, you know. I love a good, nerdy person who talks about geeky stuff in a really fun way. You know what I mean? Like, I enjoy that kind of stuff. But this guy was just, just a douchebag. He was just like, and he talked like this, and he's just so negative about everything. And man, fuck the terror graphics. And I remember we had met up, and, and, and also this guy... We, we hated him. He came over a couple of times for Street Fighter and he was such a shithead to everybody. Everybody was like, why is this guy such an ass? He didn't, he just didn't work well with everybody, which is okay, but he was putting people down and he sucked at Street Fighter. And we were playing Street Fighter and he's like, we, he only ever used Chung Lee. So we called him, we called him, uh, you know, Penfold, you know, the, the strongest woman in the world. And that was his nickname from then on. It was, it's pretty, pretty funny stuff, but so I remember we met up one day, and this is a classic moment, you know, where, you know, somebody's got a Turbo Graphics and this machine's coming out. The arguments haven't changed over the years with all the different machines, you know, the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, you know, the N64, the PlayStation 1. The arguments have always been going on, and they're they're quite a lot of fun. I'm, I'm always up for that, but this guy was such a shed, like... So I, we met up with him, and I'm like, yeah, my, the Turbo Graphics it's so cool, it's so awesome. And I'm just trying to like say the positive of it. I'm not trying to put anything else down or anything like that. I'm just saying this is like revolutionary. I've never seen anything like it. And he's like, oh yeah, nobody's going to give a shit about that. It's going to be crap compared to you know the Sega CD when it comes out and all the full motion video games. And, and we got into this huge argument over it and like I remember Andrew was just kind of standing there is like he was just laughing he just thought it was so funny he knew how passionate I was and and Dave Penville was just such a such an idiot such an idiot back then he's the guy who actually bought Hydlide <laughs> and, and he equipped too many too much equipment and he couldn't move we always thought that was a funny thing that was in a role playing game I covered it uh, in video uh, RPGs I tried to like but we were just going back and forth and I the thing is, I wasn't trying to put down the Sega CD, where he was just, his argument always, you know, was, oh, the Turbo Graphics, it's crap, you know, it's too anime, it sucks, you know, full motion video is the future. And I'm just like going, well, it's got great role playing games, and it's, you know, it's got some great games coming out, and it also does have full motion video game, you know, games, because we didn't know. We, are, we thought that might be the way of the future. <laughs> this is, you know, in the 90s, we didn't really know. But my problem with, with, with Dave that day is, is he, he wouldn't listen. 
He wouldn't just listen to say, oh, well, you know what, the Turbo Graphics does that, that sounds pretty good. He says automatically, no, it's crap. And he'd never played it. He'd never, because I didn't let him over to my house. He was like, and he never, you know, wanted to come over and I never really invited him. But he was automatically just bashing the system and putting up the, you know, his system that he was going to get. Which I obviously got as well. And it has so many great games on it. Lunar, Lunar, you know, all the working design stuff could go on forever. Just about the games. There's so many great games. It's not a debate. It's more a funny argument from the past that nobody talks about that people were arguing about which is better you know the, the Sega CD or the Turbo Graphics it's in the span of time it's kind of irrelevant both machines came out both had really fun games on it and I got great memories with both but what remains is that that freaking argument I got in with the you know the strongest woman in the world Mr. Penfold that day and how he was just so blinded and, you know, this is even before the internet. It's just automatically blinding. He, al he automatically hated the Turbo Graphics no matter what. And, yeah, fanboys, they don't change over the years, do they? They don't. It's, it's a really funny argument. And it's just something that I wanted to talk to you guys about, that that was an, also an argument going on in high schools. And, you know, but there's just a lot of other people that were just like me that just wanted to play fun games and, and all of that. And... It's, it's all these years later and both these machines still remain, isn't it funny? But that funny memory also remains. So anyways, guys, until next time.